Good morning, every, everyone, and I hope you are well this day. Um, yeah, here we've been at this uh, self-quarantined, if you will, or seclusion, or social distancing, or whatever title you would prefer to place upon our restrictions from coming together in public. What are we at? We're, we're at least on day, I think, 12 at this point in time, at least from the folks of Bethany Lutheran, where I kind of pulled the plug on having public worship two weeks ago or close to two weeks ago. So anyway, um, I just wanted to shift the direction just a little bit this morning because I was reading uh, a morning devotion and uh, I've read from this book before. So the devotion for March 25th is Break Through Your Blocks. And it goes like this. I was walking at a good clip down Sandy Colony Beach when it happened. Without warning, I began running. I ran the longest distance I had ever run before. Instead of collapsing in a panting heap, I kept running. Another stretch, then another. By the time I tired, I had run a mile. The furthest I had ever run before in my life was a, probably about a quarter of a block. I didn't intend to make this breakthrough. I was so blocked in this area, I didn't think I could. Running wasn't even a goal. I had simply incorporated regular walks into my lifestyle as a way of exercising my body. This event surprised me because I'm not a physical fitness buff. I hadn't been allowed to participate in any physical education or sports activities as a child or teenager because of chronic health ailments. I spent many of my adult years neglecting my body. Lately, I had put some effort into connecting with my body and working out in an amateurish fashion. But running? Not me. Or so I used to think. The next time I went walking, I felt timid, almost afraid to even try running. I wondered if I had experienced what was a fluke. It wasn't. I ran again. And again, now running is a regular part of my physical activity and one I truly enjoy. Sometimes we're so blocked in a particular area, we don't even consider a breakthrough, a possibility. So we're so blocked, we don't even see our blocks. Stay open. Don't limit yourself. Something that yesterday seemed entirely feasible, unfeasible and forever beyond your grasp may tomorrow, next month, next year, or even today, become something you can do naturally. Something that's available to you. It can come as a total surprise in, any, in an area you hadn't considered. Your breakthrough may happen in an area you've been struggling with and working on. Life is more than setbacks and it's not static. Appreciate and respect where you are now, but let yourself move to the next level when it's time. Celebrate your breakthroughs when they come. Listen to that quiet voice, that fleeting thought that says, why don't you? Even if it's something you've never done before. I, I thought that that was awesome, and, and it, it kind of inspired me to bust back into the book of Genesis just a little bit and think about what we're called to do by God as he kind of throws Adam and Eve out of the garden, right? So beginning, uh, uh, we're in to talking about Genesis chapter 3, verses 22 through the end of that chapter. Then the Lord God said, See the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. And now he might reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. 
Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from which he was taken. He drove out the man, and at the east of the garden of Eden he placed the cherubim and a sword flaming and turning to guard the way to the tree of life. So I was thinking about how we are now secluded in our places of home, what we call home, and uh, how we can easily become those couch potatoes or those people that are just sitting around listening to the news and the all the hype about the coronavirus and how depressing that can be. But I invite you, brothers and sisters, let's get out and try some new things. Go for a walk. If going for a walk is normal, try doing something just a little bit extra. Now, I'm not saying get out there and run um, uh, right away. It can be done, but uh, I am saying care for all of God's creation. And caring for all of God's creation means caring for you. So that might be even raking the yard or policing up the trash that is around your neighborhood. But whatever it is, it draws you off of the couch. It draws you away from your dining room table. It draws you away from the refrigerator um, like it is tending to do to me. Um, and get out there and take care of yourself. Take care of God's creation. Be with yourself. Listen to the birds. Listen to whatever nature is calling you. So let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for allowing us to care for your creation. But Lord, in these times where we're invited to stay in seclusion, we tend to envelop ourselves into our own presence, into our own surroundings. But Lord God, we can do more. Boost us out of our normal ways of thinking and help us care for ourselves. Help us care for our local communities. All this we lift up in your name this day. In Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. So remember today at 12 noon, at 12 noon we're going to join the rest of the Christian world by coming together and praying our Lord's Prayer at 12 noon. So whatever it will take to um, remind you of that, set your alarm clock, set whatever, and let's join together so that we can connect with all people across the world in, in praising God through the Lord's Prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. I hope you're all well this day. May you um, have a blessed day. And if you need anything, anything at all, please join or pick up the phone and give me a call i've got a lot of things going i will be in the church office in probably about 10 minutes so um give me a call i love hearing your voices i've been reaching out to many uh, but it's a lot of people to get to um, so uh, keep keep me in prayer as well as we go through this together um, great having all of the people coming on board watching I see Joyce out there, Donna, Donna Harris, Kirk, Klingen Smith, uh, Debbie, Vanderwall. Um, thank you for watching, and, and let's stay connected as best as we can. Peace be with you all.